Hi, good day to all of you. I'm just personally next to Federal Highway in the master plan, so called uh, UOA business park. Today, our topic is to talk about how do you make a site selection for your office space. So, let's move around this area. So, more often or not, uh, when you select a site selection for office space, you're actually choosing the uh, ecosystem or, so to speak, the uh, master plan whereby you are not just looking for the the office space on its own you will also look at other components such as the amenities such as a car park such as the, the food hall for your staff uh, clinic convenience store whether there's a hotel nearby for your guests or is that a, a meeting area for your for your daily arrangement Okay, let's go into the lower ground. So, let me show you around. Um, it's, it is actually consisting of 11 blocks of a office tower. So, we are now entering to the lower ground area. Let's check it out, the parking pricing. So the very first thing that uh, a lot of clients are always asking, how do I make a site selection? There are so many offices in the market, there are more than 300 office buildings in, in Klang Valley by itself. How to select? So you can narrow down to a few. So first thing first, you must know what are you actually paying for. So are you the one uh, looking for office space for front end corporate office? Meaning to say, you are, it's more like a sales rep office. Sales, sales rep. It means a person who are in the office, usually they are in and out, in and out. They are not always in the office. The second type of the user will be operation stuff, so called the back end stuff. Whereby most of the stuff will come in here, they will stay back to the office, they will spend eight hours in the office doing the operation job. Or the third one will be the hybrid office whereby you, you have management office and also operation office. Okay, so let's go to the upper level. Okay, one of the things also quite crucial when you do site selection for, for office space is to know the, the aircon system. So there are aircon type of uh, centralized aircon or split aircon, meaning to say, for centralized aircon, usual operation hours is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, your split AC is uh, you can operate on your own. So these are the tenant profile in this particular tower nine. Let's check it out. We in here. Okay, my per Kubel recurrence. Itramas, Inspiro, yeah, APR Logistics, they are in here. Okay, it's a logistic company here. Okay, let's move around. So, you can see there is a driveway on the uh, lower ground and also upper ground. So, both sides it can be a drop off area. So, the tenant base on this, the other tower, on the tower 8, uh, you have, oh, rental queue is over here, rental queue. MTT shipping, okay, park place, IGT. Okay, let's move around. So this is Jepson Jepson here, J and J. And uh, the other issue also uh, you might want to consider is whether its operation uh, must be comply. So there are certain industries, let's say uh, business processing outsourcing, they're having contract with, uh, let's say for with Asia, so they can't to have a downtime more than X amount of minutes. So in this case, they will have to opt for those uh, building which equipped with a gen set power generator. So in the event there's a power failure, the, the backup power source will kick in and solve, resolve this issue. 
so yeah and also yeah, this other amenities area This block to hmm, be these are the tenant is in here. Macon is free lock win another logistic company here. It seems like a hotspot for logistic company eh, over here. That's how they're moving their stuff. This is I believe this is for the the food hall kitchen. I mean the food court. Some boss car, Bentley driving around. Boss's car around. Okay. Avon Malaysia also in here. Avon Samsung SDX. Zurich. This block actually is on, is actually occupied by uh, TMB. So TMB actually use it for a shared service center. It means they centralize all their operation in terms of uh, finance, HR, I mean procurement, yeah, all their functionality they centralized in this area. Yeah, let's try it out the their drop off area. Oh, they have grab pickup area. So just to show this master plan is connected by a link bridge across to uh, is to a LRT station and also there is a there is a station for you also to connect to Subang Airport. So a lot of times uh, when you do site selection for office space, you do not know what is the Let's say, for example, you, you like a certain uh, location, you want to be in this area, you want to be associated to be in, in this area, be it in, in Mid Valley or in Bang Sa Sao or in this place called UA Business Park, Glen Mary. You must know what you're paying for, meaning to say, you can start with your headcount, whereby you know how many uh, back-end staff and also front-end staff that you are having at any given amount of time. And from there, you you will start sourcing the availability of the office space likewise for in this area you can opt for small office space for like one workstation to five workstation or look for a small office um, 1000 square feet for like 10 operation staff as well as you can opt for like a uh, half a floor half a floor usually will be like the four plate over here is like uh, 7000 square feet half a floor probably will you have like about 3000 square feet those uh, uh, full floor will be 7,000 square feet. Like the other one, the last block, the block 9, is uh, way larger. So you can have like 15,000 square feet per block basis. So yeah, you must know what you're paying for so you are not overpay. And also, secondly, will be uh, you must also aware of your commercial terms. So commercial terms, they usually split into three areas. First will be the renter, which already covered. Secondly will be the the terms, whereby you are going for uh, one plus one, one year plus one year, two terms of renewal basis, or two years plus two years, three years plus three years, or even five terms of two years with auto renewal basis with a fixed renter. These are all negotiable. And um, the other thing it will be also to take note is that when you rent rented a, a bare unit, you put in your furnishing in the tenancy agreement there as a tenant, if you can uh, put in a clause whereby uh, when you move out, the tenant has the right to leave the furnishing uh, behind so that you won't have to bear the reinstatement cost because reinstatement cost now today also costly. Uh, it will cost you like something around 15 ringgit per square feet. So say like for 1,000 square feet, your renovation nicely done. 
you still have to pay that 15 grand to remove all of them so these are the thing and yeah if you have any comment you need want to find out more about this leave down a comment i'll be more than happy to assist you thank you